Hello, my name's George Cairns, and in this video lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop CC's Camera Raw Editor to process an overexposed image to bring back detail that's missing in the highlights without underexposing the correctly exposed shadows. So here in the end result, you've got much more detail in the brighter parts, but we've not underexposed these areas here. We've also boosted the colors as well to make different areas stand out. And all the adjustments we've made to the image are using the basic panel in Camera Raw. We're not using any of the other tools. This is just a fairly simple intro to revealing detail in overexposed images and making selective tonal adjustments. If you go to File Open in Photoshop CC and browse to a RAW file, it will automatically be opened up in Camera RAW. And here we have a photograph that looks overexposed to the naked eye. And if we have a look at the histogram, we can also see that the highlights at the far right are really strong, whereas the midtones are quite weak in the middle here. And the shadows are petering out towards the left here, so there aren't really any strong shadows in this overexposed photograph. So to fix the photo, what you could try doing is making a global adjustment to the exposure by going to the exposure slider. And if we drag that to the left, the shot gets a little bit darker. The histograms highlights slide more towards the middle there to show they're not quite as bright as they were. And you can see now we've got more cloud detail visible. But we've got to be careful because we can then plunge these shadows into darkness and lose important detail in this part of the picture. This is why we need to make selective tonal adjustments because this global adjustment here is just a compromise between revealing sky detail without underexposing the shadows. So I'm going to stick to about minus 1.20 for this particular picture. And we already have stronger looking shadows here now. They've gone up a little bit and the midtones are stronger too and the highlights aren't quite as bright as they were. So already the histogram is looking healthier. So how do we lighten up these shadows without overexposing the sky? We're going to use the shadow slider. If I drag that left and right just to show you what it's doing, you can see it's not making any adjustments in the sky. It's just working in the shadows and midtones. And you can see the histogram shadows and midtones are sliding to the left as I go to the left or to the right as I brighten them up like so. If I drag the slider to the right, we can get the ladies looking correctly exposed without ever exposing our sky. It's always worth clicking here to see how your edit is shaping up by clicking and showing a before and after version of the view. There's the original overexposed shot and now we can see we've got much more sky detail there without underexposing our shadows too much. And you can click here to go back to single view. So we tweak the darker shadows and the brightest highlights. We can also try and claw back a little bit more highlight detail using the slider here. And what we can do is increase mid-tone contrast as well, just to make delicate details pop out a little bit more effectively. And to do that, we're going to use the clarity slider. When I drag this, watch what happens to the middle of the histogram where the mid-tones lie. They're just adjusting slightly, and that is adjusting the image slightly as well to make these delicate textures and details. Some of these paving stones will stand out more, as well as textures on the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral. So that's a cool way of making selective tonal adjustments entirely within the basic panel. I'm going to finish off by boosting the vibrance, which is making weaker colors look stronger without oversaturating healthier, stronger colors that are already in the image. So I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please feel free to subscribe to the channel because then you'll see the new weekly updates that I'll be adding on other aspects of editing in Photoshop CC.